In this video, I'm going to talk about State of the Map, which is the International Conference of OpenStreetMap. I'll do that with some of um, the footage I filmed of me talking there in Florence, um, but also catching up with you back here in my home in England. So um, yeah, get seated and have a listen. I'm in Florence in Italy, um, of course, a state of the map and the conference of OpenStreetMap, the 15th conference was really good. Um, I particularly enjoyed it for seeing people um, once again that I haven't seen for a while for various reasons, even online. Um, but there were lots of people we put, ha we asked our hands up on who had come for their first time and I think it was the majority, maybe like 70 or 80% of people were there for the first time, which was great which meant lots of conversations. Some people don't even, you know, they're new and they don't know people and they don't don't start those conversations, but they listen in and that's fun and I did a lot of that as well, just listening to what people were talking about um, with the talks and the workshops and the discussions, kind of having spurred that. There were lots of breaks. It was a bit loud um, where we had coffee, um, but actually you could go and find some small places around the corner where it was a bit quiet and there were always other people there. Um, so I really enjoyed that. There was some interesting things about should we change the data model and make some um, adjustments based on that. I think mainly about ways. Um, there were some talks. There was an ask me anything from the board which had a lot of questions which was nice. And the board are actually really doing things now which is great. Um, and they've employed Grant as a kind of, I think, site um, server reliability. He's making sure the OpenStreetMap.org service is run, and there's quite a few of them. The website, the API, the database, um, various things that, that then other people, organizations or small developers or just, you know, individuals like me in the past kind of playing with things can use those services. Um, it would be great. There were some discussions with the engineering team. I think it would be nice if, um, if anyone wanted to join them. It would be nice to see some new faces there um, and see, I'm sure, Grant would help you and some of the other engineering team perhaps would help um, talk to you, see what you could do to help. Um, they would need to know what your skills were and discussion with that. Um, yeah, and a few other talks. There were some good academic ones. Some a bit fun and just silly, like Null Island. Um, other ones really looking at analytics of the in the data. Things like studies on um, doing a doing seeing if there's human bias in in um, OpenStreetMap with what users do based on um, what instructions they get and things like that. Um, really interesting. The talks will all, all be online, but online all the ones that were recorded. Um, so now I'm going to explore. I've got a couple of extra days in Italy, so I'm going to explore Florence, um, see what this bridge is like up close that has lots of buildings on, um, and I think maybe see some interesting museums. Um, so yeah. So, um, yeah, I mentioned there that I was doing some sightseeing. I've already published that video, so um, you've possibly seen it or go watch the link, see me get very excited looking at old maps and map-related things um, in Italy. If you don't know me already, my name's Gregory, so I travelled from England. I've been to quite a few State of the Map videos, uh, State of the Map conferences, rather. Um, this that's a sign from one of the previous years when it was in Brussels because I did get a banner from this year, um, but it's rather long. So I'm currently using it as a bit of a tablecloth. Um, yeah, just for some fun. Um, and this year I tried to do some filming, get give you kind of a view of what it's like to attend the conference in person. 
Um, if you joined online, I hope you enjoyed that and still felt part of it. Um, but yeah, I didn't spend a lot of time actually talking to the camera because you just have to take it all in while you're there. And that's not just the talks, it's the kind of bits hanging um, around in between. There's lots of spaces um, to chat to people. There was big open area kind of um, just the side of the registration where we had our tea breaks. Um, but it could get quite loud because it had high ceilings. So um, I'd sometimes wander off um, and you'd find people just chatting at the side where it was quieter, which was really nice. And you'd listen to into their conversations or greet them. It was, I think this conference, everyone was, of course, excited to see people again, um, even though lots of people were new and hadn't been to the conference before, um, putting faces to names. Um in fact, one of those, the little videos, because um, I took lots of, yeah, one of the videos that I took of just what's it like without me talking. I was walking past, I wanted to show how you walk upstairs and you could think the um, smaller talks were in rooms really close to the coffee space. But actually, as I went up the stairs, I then <laughs> spotted some people I wanted to chat to and see how they were doing and... and um, and how the, their local chapter in Austria was doing. So I kind of actually stopped the video quite soon and then walked back down the stairs to see them. They had obviously done a little breakaway in a quarter space, um, but were easy to find. Um, and I actually used all those videos that um, of of just the kind of background, like fly on the wall, what it looks like. I used them, put them together um, and overlaid them with some text i made a video for the end of the conference called we are osm and this was from a notice board pin board i put up a sign just saying write your name what's your involvement in open street map um and that makes you an open street mapper whether you edit the maps where you contribute data um, data from a corporation maybe you develop code um, maybe you make videos about OpenStreetMap that encourage people being involved or other documentation or you train people. Um, all that makes you an OpenStreetMap as an important. So it was really fun to see people. I think maybe got about 30, 40 people broke that out um, out of the 400 people in person at the conference um, and 200 people online. A few posted on Twitter, so I wrote those out for them. Um, but just to see the diversity of involvement and people involved there. Um, and I had quite a, a number of people actually found it a good way to contribute because um, yeah, it can be intense talking to people and when you don't know people. Um, so it's a nice place for you to contribute and still write there. Um, but I think lots of people, not everyone's a conversation starter and I found lots of times um, when I could just listening to the conversation um, and didn't have to contribute and everyone's happy with that. We all wear name badges. Um, I'm not sure where mine's gone actually. Um, but they say um, they say your name so you can say hello, who are you? You know, you don't have to remember names which is good for me. Um, yeah, so that video will be online. I'm not sure if that's going to go on, my, on this Map Diaries channel or on the main state of the map channel um all the talks will be on the state of the map channel um and yeah possibly by the time i upload this video and publish it um which is great in that bit i mentioned in my trying to remember what happened to give you an overview um before i did sightseeing i mentioned a few talks um so if you go to the state of the map website um state of the map .org, um, look on the program, you can find the talks and the videos will be on there. Um, yeah, I was a bit late to the conference, actually, um, which maybe wasn't for the best. But even the evening before, um, people were off bar, a little bar, um, by a pond, um, lots of chit chat and social. Um, I also missed the storms. T-shirt change. Um because I realised I intended to do this video wearing this year's State of the Map conference shirt. Um, because, yeah, um, I've collected these over the years that I have um, gone. As I say, not every conference I've been to. Um, 
But people, even when you're on your flight towards the venue, towards the city it's in, people spot the state of the map shirts and you go, oh, so you're here for a street map and people meet early or they go, oh, it's Greg, you know. Um, so that was fun. People did that. I only did that on the way back in the airport. I was like, oh, yes, I, I know you. I saw you at the conference and we chatted. Um, yeah, there's lots of stuff. The conference talks run from about 9am to I think they finished around 4 or 5, 5pm 5 most days, um, the three-day conference, um, and so in the evenings, um, I would go back to my hotel, change my shirt because it was too hot, um, and then people would go to, to find a restaurant or a bar to continue the conversation. Um, so actually the first night of the conference, um, humanitarian open street map team had a specific um, party. I went to that, um, and yeah, it was chilling. Lots of thank yous and kind of recapping what's gone on in there, um, and how humanitarian Open Street Map um, team coming out of Open Street Map have um, developed over the years and changed. That was fun. Um, uh, the second day of the conference was the social. So. We went to this place in a market building, quite a big market, and it had lots of food places, um, which made it very interesting. But m half the seats, I think, were reserved for our conference, so that was great, and you could see the sign, and that just gave the ability to more casually talk. The tables, some of them only four people per table, um, some of them a bit bigger, like six or eight people. But that met, broke it down so you could actually go, oh, what's your involvement in a certain map? Oh, where are you from? Um, and you learn different things, people involved in, in different bits, which the talk kind of, the talks give you some idea of that. But you understand other things and, and get to know more people's background, which, um, which yeah, is just interesting and you become good friends in all of this. Um, and and I think it inspires you sometimes more than the talks because they're a bit more prepared and you can ask questions, but it's easier to just have that flowing conversation um, at the social, which was fun. Um, at the conference on one of the days, it coincided with my local chapter, Open Trick Map UK, had their annual general meeting um, and that was just a report basically on what's been happening um, and the members going to elect the new directors. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and do a different video on that because it had interesting bits. Um, yeah, and I think that was it all. Um, there was social media goes crazy um, during the conference, so there was a lot of Twitter with hashtag um, SOTM22. Um, and Telegram was used a lot. Actually, this was really interesting. There was a Telegram um, chat shed where people that were at the conference or had a remote venueless ticket. Um, and I'm just scrolling through, recapping now. Um, you don't want to see the reflection in my glasses. You want to see my eyes. Yeah, so that was cool. There was lots going on. So many people enjoying different talks, enjoying the breaks. Um, oh, there were a few special tracks, of course. Uh, Hot on Summit was at the conference. So they had a selection of kind of talks and they weren't doing their own event. They're part of State of the Map. The academic track was uh, really good titles there. I did drop into some of the talks, but didn't make it to all of them. So I'm looking forward to the recordings. Um, as I said in one of my short videos, the academic track is really good for um, kind of we have questions as if we do this as a hobby or even as a job and we want to properly understand parts of um, the database and the community and how it all works. So academics can go and ask those questions. They can then write a paper, but I don't want to read 72 pages of proceeding. The talks at the conference, which you, anyone can go to, um, the academic track like the other talk, um, are really good, concise, and you actually see the people behind it. Um, for me, one that was really good was uh, Leeds Uni were doing a lot of stuff. I and um, yeah, with cyclability and kind of accessible transport in cities and 
and exploring that. So um, that was great. I made sure in the break afterwards, I went and chatted to them, got to know them a bit, and um, and maybe more things will come of that. Cause Leeds is uh, isn't too far from me in Durham. Um, yeah, there was loads of stuff going on. I could talk about it so much, but you can read the talks. You can see the uh, caps. Oh, there were posters. Um, which this year, I'm not sure they, they were that easy to browse because they were in the tea and coffee bit. Um, and there were just so many of them, but they're kind of blocked by tables. And as I say, it was noisy there. Um, but there were some interesting things, again, different ways to understand the project. There was maps about composting bins in one country, community composting bins. There were maps about, I think, the stuff going on in the US legally with access to abortion actually the german community or someone in germany had um created a map actually how good is access to services in their country um kind of as in how far do you have to go for um yes certain levels of hospitals and things like that um albanian open street mappers brought some uh treats some sweets oh and there were lots of stickers people like sharing stickers so um there were some of those i've got one on the back of my phone of the state of the map logo um and i picked up some others from some of the sponsors that had tables and things like that um and we yeah there were lots of photos um and i think like that's as much as a summary as i can give you i could talk more about the talks um but go look for the look down the program at talks you want to listen to. Um, I'll certainly be trying to listen to some more. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh yes, so even after the conference, I did go and do some sightseeing. But then, um, because people know everyone's in this city together, all lots going on. After the conference, the following day, I came back here um, where I am now to the auditorium. The Youth Mappers had a premiere of their film, their documentary that they made. I didn't know what to expect, but it was really, really good. Um, kind of telling just that core story of uh, making a map, why it's important, getting up these these young um, people that aren't the leaders of the future, they're the leaders of today, um, and just how for development um, of places, maps are really important because... Um, there were various things said, you know, if if I can't find you, how can I know you? You know, if you're not on the map, do you exist? And telling stories such as in Sierra Leone that access to power is really important for then education. You know, where's the power grid just so you can get light so you can study, let alone charging your laptop? Um, so that was interesting, you know, it's just showing how that builds up in different places and how it's connected and how they're encouraging the mappers. Um, so I think it's a really great video and I'll share the link, it'll be somewhere up there um, if I can manage it. Um, because I think everyone should watch it. If you're involved in OpenStreetMap, you'll just love it because it's about maps being important and about different communities and different challenges of making the best possible maps. If you're not in OpenStreetMap, you still love it because it's connected with countries and it'll teach you about why we're doing this all over the world, um, even where youth mappers are. Why did we start OpenStreetMap? Why did youth mappers start? Um, what? Who cares about maps? It will really tell you that. Um, it was really passionate, really emotionally felt. Um, and I also think it was really well directed and edited, put together. There were just a few graphics that were really good, but dealing with different footage as well was great and, and different voices. Um, yeah, as I said, I didn't know what to expect. I thought, well, it's something to do on the day after the conference. No, it was amazing. Please do go and uh, watch that video. And I think that sums up as much as I can wrap up what happens. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope... What was your best bits? Comment below. Some people occasionally comment on my videos. But yeah, talks will be on the State of the Maps website, stateofthemap.org. Um, and hey... John, come next year. It'll be fantastic. If you can't make it to the international one for whatever reason, there's lots of other conferences happening regionally. They're not 
organized by Everything Map Foundation. Um, but yeah, there's one in Tanzania. There's one happening somewhere in Asia to cover Asia. Um, I think there's a state of the map Africa, but they're figuring quite where it will be, what it'll look like. Um, and yeah, there's a whole list of them on the wiki.osm.org. Um, but until then, it will be back to normal mapping, I think, um, and wherever I find needs updating.